G'day, it's Cameron from Smidge Tea Drop Campus here, and I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of our new Square Drop Camper. This one is the DRAM, so it's the top of the line spec. We have three different models available in both teardrops and square drops. The entry level, which is the dash, the middle, the drop, and the top spec, the DRAM. All of our square drops is designed for more of the off-road traveler or the intrepid traveler. So we've re-engineered the chassis, it's a lot stronger. We, we like to find a happy compromise between keeping it lightweight, but not compromising the strength. This particular chassis we've made up out of 50 by 50 RHS gal tubing and 75 by 50. Uh, it's fully galvanized, re-engineered to travel further and travel for longer without any headaches. At the pointy end, we have the R off-road coupling. This particular coupling has full 360 rotation, each which way, full articulation, which is great for things like the creek crossings coming up over higher crests and all that type. Electrical connections coming through are a seven pin flat plug, as well as a Anderson plug, which connects off your vehicle battery alternator and charges the house battery. Has brakes fitted to it. This particular one has a 10 inch disc brake. Uh, so you've got a handbrake up on the coupling over here. So when you set up damp, it, it will hold it uh, nice and steady for you. Swivel up jockey wheel. So it's nice and quick to get up out of the way when you're packing up camp. Spare wheel on the front. These particular wheels have been matched with the particular vehicle that it's going to be used for. So we can do all those minor customizations for you throughout the build. Our front aluminium storage box is a great actual area for storage for all sorts of bits and pieces. It's not only what you store inside it, but also on the outside of it. We have this great storage rack up on the top here which is completely flexible that you can slide these to oh, remove them or slide them up and back to where you want to add your tie down points. It's great for extra camping gear, things like extra chairs, good spot for firewood. Inside the storage box, on this particular side, it features our fridge freezer. This particular teardrop has a 55 litre Dometic Waco CFX fridge works very efficiently it's the new model or you can control it with bluetooth and wi-fi as well control the temperature and check your voltage and all that directly through your phone we have all of our charging systems and electrical components in here as well dc dc charges 240 volt or ac to dc charges low voltage cutouts we have a little nifty utility light that's completely flexible that is also great for when the fridge slides out at night time you can use that to see what your next drink or food may be. All the controls over on the front of the actual fridge and all the power connections are over on the other side. It also gives you a handy little voltage reading on the front. One thing that is standard across all of our smidge teardrop is we have a main master power cutoff switch. So the part of the hassle-free traveling is that when that is out, it is turned off all the power to the actual trailer so that your setup times and pack up times are so much more quicker and efficient. We've also brought all of our fuses up to a handy area right at the front and the 240 volt power. One operates the charging system, the other is actually for the Waco Dometic fridge freezer. If you are at a powered site or you can also unplug them and use power out here as well. There's also additional ventilation fitted on both sides of the storage box uh, so that when the heat from the condenser builds up, that'll actually evacuate out of there so the fridge won't be working overtime. On this particular teardrop, we have, or square drop for that matter, we have doors fitted on both sides and they are a full security door. So there's a fly screen that is the lockable component so that at night time you can actually have this open and get good cross ventilation throughout the actual camper as well as knowing that you're going to be nice and safe having it that all the locking is on the actual door. Inside our square drop camper there's quite a fair bit of space in here which is fantastic. 
It is a full queen size mattress. It is designed for comfort at the end of the hard day of traveling, bushwalking, spending a day on the beach, whatever it may be. On the head of the bed, we have little storage cabinet uh, on both sides. It's great for little knickknacks, uh, books, shoes. You have a reading stalk light on both sides of the bed, which also has USB charging points on both sides. One of them is suitable for phones, the other for tablets. So it's a more of a higher output USB charging point. They're also designed so that at night time, if you're wanting to uh, just see what's outside the door or put your shoes on, items like that, you're able to bend that out. It gives you just enough light out here without using the full LED awning lights. On the bed head as well, we do have the birch plywood panel that has the LED lighting coming up through there. It's a nice feature in this build. It is completely uh, dimmable, so you are able to brighten it up during the day and dim it down right at night time as well. Both sides of the camper has curtains fitted to the entry doors, and they are a rubber backed curtain, so it actually assists with blocking out all of the light so that if you do want to have a snooze during the day, which is fantastic, and it also helps with sound insulation and other things as well. We do have a roof hatch fitted right, right above the head of the bed. The roof hatch uh, has a fly screen built into it, as well as a block out blind. So, which also helps at night time or during the day for, for a snooze, for instance, and slides down and blocks away. Up the top, we've got LED lighting, our main uh, cabin lighting. This particular cabin light also has an amber light setting. It's the same as what we have for our awning lights and in the rear galley kitchen. Great feature about the amber lighting is it stops all the, the bugs, or it stops attracting all the bugs at night time. Uh, it gives you ample light inside the actual camper. As I mentioned earlier, plenty of storage. The whole foot of the, uh, the bed area, you have wardrobe on both sides. It has adjustable shelf so you can change the, uh, the height of the shelf, depending on what you're actually taking with you. And they're also a great depth, great for all your t-shirts, shorts, board shorts, shoes, books, all the bits and pieces that you take. The middle section of the storage here actually folds down as opposed to sideways. For the reason that if you are in here, it's miserable weather outside, you decide to watch a movie or, or a couple of TV shows. It's designed to be able to sit a laptop or a tablet on here. Across here is our main electrical uh, section for the interior of the camper. As I mentioned, your, your light switches uh, on the bottom. Then we have the awning lights on both sides. It doesn't matter which side you get in and out of or which side you set up camp, you do have lighting on both sides. 240 volt power point inside the camper as well, including a 240 volt RCD or circuit breaker, which is part of the increased safety of the 240 volt system. Talking about safety, we also have a built-in smoke detector and a fire extinguisher. Um, also all the required gas ventilation that's needed for install of gas in, in campers. We do have a little Sirocco fan here, uh, which is great. It doesn't take a lot of power to use, but it's good for circulating the air through here, especially on a hot night. And it does have a timer setting on there so that you can set it for three hours, six hours, nine hours uh, type of thing. 12 volt power outlet as well for charging of uh, laptops and tablets, as well as the USBs up at the head of the bed. Now let's head around to the rear galley kitchen. So coming around the back of the camper, having the square backed camper means it's a slightly different kitchen setup to what we have in our teardrop range, but we have designed it to have great bench space and use all of the storage as much as we can. We know that it's a pretty critical things. We've got pantry storage uh, on both sides with adjustable shelving as well. So you, you can change these depending on uh, what you're taking, pots, pans, cereal boxes, plates, cups, all of that. They are deep enough for larger pots, pans, dinner plates that they are actually designed to be able to fit 
uh, all those particular items. But for bulky units like your cast iron pots and stuff that you want to stick straight on the campfire, we have this larger bulky airy area storage, uh, which is great for those larger items. In the middle, we have a cutlery drawer. It's great for a couple of utensils, knives and forks and all the bits and pieces. And over on this side of the camper is actually our cooking. We have a Thetford two burner stove with a inbuilt grill. So it's great for making your toast in the morning or a toasted cheese sandwich for lunch. We have our main electrical component here for the kitchen at the back as well with two 40 volt power points, a main pump switch, 12 volt outlet, dual USB charging points and our LED light switches. At the back of our door, we have the orange or the white, or you can have both. It's the same with another one inside. We also have an LED strip light underneath the actual overhead cabinets here, which has a little switch over here, which is also completely dimmable, and it makes for a great service light while you're cooking and preparing all your meals. Open top stainless steel sink, with our European tapware. That all connects through to our 12 volt pump, has an inline filter and runs off our 82 litre food water storage. Now, I'm six foot and I can fit underneath this door. It's a question that we get quite a fair bit. Uh, you can also alter the pitch by adjusting your jockey wheel at the front. If we keep going around the other side of the camper, Alco stabiliser legs fitted on this particular unit that swing down and uh, very quickly and easily wind down to give you nice stability when you set up camp. We also have our water inlet, which goes through to that 82 litre water tank, which is a food grade water tank. Four and a half kilo gas bottle, which runs our two burner stove. 240 volt power inlet, which is serving the power to all the power points inside the camper and the awning lights. As I mentioned earlier, there were two sets of switches. It's for both sides of the camper. So it doesn't matter what side you're getting out at night time or what side you decide to set up camp, you, you will have lighting on that side. As I mentioned before, the running boards, the, the aluminum running boards, they're made to be lightweight, but they're nice and sturdy and strong so that you can actually get up there for loading the roof racks putting bikes, surfboards. While I'm up here, we do have 175 watt solar panel that is fitted, runs through our DC charger straight into our 120 amp hour AGM battery. Our storage box, the other side we had our fridge and freezer unit. This particular side is all storage. Great for your camping chairs, portable dining tables, things like fishing rods, all the items that you take away camping with you, more than enough storage in there as well. If you have any questions, be sure to drop us a line and we'll be more than happy to help you out. We really hope you enjoyed our, our latest model to be added to the range. We'll speak to you shortly.